Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your financial reading for the middle part of March here, 2019. Uh, this month, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, by the way, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and uh, you will catch me live. But Scorpio, uh, let's see what's going on for you. Uh, this month, I'm also doing something different. I'm pulling uh, three uh, tarot cards as well here, and these are going to be your overarching uh, messages for the month. So... Uh, let's see what we have going on for you here. All right, yeah. Um, so you start off with the Seven of Spades here, or the Seven of Swords in the uh, tarot. This card just says, I feel like it's saying, have a plan for the month. You have two sevens. And whenever I see two sevens, you have this card in the Seven of Cups. To me, that kind of means internal fears that don't exist. Whenever I see two sevens, I always tell people, two sevens means let go of your fears. Remove the fears, remove the worries, remove the concerns about the things that you're doing, and uh, you will be fine. But I mostly feel like, this card is saying, have a plan. You also have two aces here, and you have two kings in your uh, playing card part of the reading, which would also say, like, have a plan on what you're going to do business-wise, and just execute on that plan uh, with this card. I would also say, with this card, no lending money to friends. I feel like if you do, you're never going to see it again. So again, if a friend asks you for money, you either say no, or uh, just realize that you're not going to see it again. So I always tell people, you know, if, if, if you're okay with that, then that's fine. Then, but just realize you're not going to see it again. Um, but for others, I'd say no get-rich-quick schemes as well with this card. Next, you have the Seven of Cups. I just feel like there could be a lot going on, and I feel like that could be distracting your focus. I also feel like you could have a lot of ideas here, and uh, especially in work or business, or if you have a business, I would say especially if you have a business, you could have a lot of ideas. What I think you need to do is write down all your ideas, and then I feel like you need to uh, just like pick the best one. And and or pick the one that you resonate with most and just see it through to the end. I feel like that's what this is saying. You even end with the Ace of Swords. So technically you have three Aces, but you end with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is kind of like the, you know, it's a card of truth and justice and clarity and victory and all this other good stuff, but it's also a card of like hitting your mark. It's like a card of hitting a target, making sure that you have a target in mind in business or finances, making sure you have a goal in mind that you want to reach. So in a lot of ways, I feel like this is saying pick one goal. If you have a bunch of ideas for the rest of this month, write them down. And But just pick one to work on and see it through to the end. Uh, and finally, you have the Ace of Swords. Like I said, for some of you, I feel like this could be a legal matter coming to a conclusion. You have to have the Ace of Spades and the uh, King of Spades as well. These are all cards of justice. So I'd say if you're waiting for something like financially in the justice system or in court, I feel like this could be very good for you. I also feel like if you have a ticket this month, I feel like it would be uh, worth fighting. So any of you who are going to, um, any of you who are trying to fight a ticket or anything like that, I feel like it would be, I do feel like it would be worth it if you get a ticket or if you have a ticket at this time. Uh, next, in your playing cards, currently you have the eight, Ace of Spades and the Nine of Hearts as well. So this is existing problems being resolved. It's like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Like I always tell you, Scorpio, you know, traditionally in astrology, you were the Phoenix rising from the ashes. You are not the Scorpion. So, you know, traditionally, this is you, basically. Uh, and this is like the Death card and the playing cards anyway, So, which is also like you. So I feel like this is you, and I feel like you could be going through a rebirth. Nine of Hearts is a card of wishes, so I feel like some of you could just be getting something you wish for, getting something you want. But I also feel like this is talking about something new. Nines are, you know, technically uh, kind of like close to the end. They say that you are, they are basically completion. You know, a lot of people read tens as completion. And yeah, tens are kind of completion, but they're really one. So it's like, and even the Tibetan Buddhists like consider nine to be the end. They consider that to be like the last number because again, 10 is one. So it's kind of like starting over at that point. So, but I, and I do get completion on this card. So I feel like some of you could be kind of ending some sort of difficult cycle financially, and that could be leading to more benefits. Next, you have the King of Spades and the Three of Diamonds. I would say that, yeah, I would be very, by the way, yeah, if you're, if you're lending money to a friend, I just wouldn't, I just would say, um, don't do it with this card here. So I feel like you need to make sure not to, um, I feel like you need to make sure not to lend money to friends. This card of confusion, card of seeing things, not seeing things clearly. This is a card I always say of double checking your paperwork. So I'd say if you're involved in anything legal or anything like that, double check your paperwork with this card here. What I would also say is that this could be talking about, like I said, a get-rich-quick scheme. And again, Three Diamonds says you do not have all the, de the details or you will not have all the details on whatever it is. So I would be very careful of any opportunities that come your way. And I would just like double-check with yourself. I'd double-check on the opportunity or I would wait until the end of the retrograde before you make a decision. Uh, for others, this could be legal problems with, a, with paperwork. So I do feel like if you're going through a legal situation, there could be problems with your paperwork. Um, like right now, normally I say you can fix it, but right now... 
I feel like this is out of your control. So I, I feel like there's nothing you can do. I don't even think it's your fault, but I feel like it could be causing a delay or something like that. And this could be a delay at work as well. So I feel like some of you have experienced a delay at work or in getting a job. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Diamonds here. So I feel, yeah, I feel like there's like tons of new opportunity for you is what I would say. This is a new path. This is a new boss. So for some of you, this could be a new job. This is also a call to adventure. And a lot of people are getting this right now, especially water. Like like I always say to you, water signs. I'm looking at the chart over here, by the way. Yeah, you know, I feel like water has a lot of opportunity to be very successful. But it's like we got you got to take some sort of risk. Water signs. You got to do. You got to go on some sort of venture. It's like you got to push yourself outside your comfort zone or do something that you just have never even thought of doing before, like work wise. So I would say take some sort of risk here um, to be successful. Uh, I'm also getting the word investment on this card. What else do we have here? Yeah, I'd say if you're an investor or anything like that, I feel like it could be a very good month for you, even with the retrograde. Um, but I would you know I'd double check all your details and things like that. But I feel like it, this could be very good. And like I said, yeah. That's the other thing. I'd be careful of like scams, investment scams, anything with this combi combination there. So I, what I would say is I feel like investments could go very well for you if you are an invest investor. But again, I would like triple check everything that you're doing because, you know, because of those first two cards there um, or the second two cards, I should say. But for others, I just feel like this is saying that you could be getting a lot of attention in business or work, and I feel like that could be very good for you as well. Uh, next, you have the King of Hearts and the Four of Hearts. Yeah, this is you right here so i feel like in a lot of ways this is saying that you are kind of in control of your own finances at this time it's funny i've done like about six readings so far for these monthly financials and uh pretty much everybody else has it's all been all about like teamwork and you know working with somebody else and all this other stuff you're like the only sign that has had this message of like needing to do something on your own so i feel like in a lot of ways it's like saying you have the power to do things well on your own and i feel like you just need to do that for others four parts could be a move i get moved for you the most out of all the signs Scorpio so I feel like a lot of you could either be moving or traveling and I feel like that could lead to a lot of success for you and or new job I'd say especially four of hearts in particular is a card of moving for work or moving for a job so if you're moving for work or moving for a job I feel like there could be a lot of success there uh, this could also be buying a new home or moving locations I do feel like just looking at the chart here as well I've talked about this a billion times but I do feel like this year this year in particular, I feel like a lot of people could move for additional benefits, meaning that you could move somewhere that's like cheaper, and but maybe it's better. You know, you could be moving to like maybe a much bigger apartment for the same price as your tiny little apartment somewhere else. Like I see like a lot of people moving for different reasons. Or you could just be moving somewhere cheaper, but maybe, maybe you're getting a job that pays more. So it's like you're able to save more money. So I feel like there could be a lot of additional benefits to a move for some of you. And finally, you have the Five of Diamonds and the Eight of Diamonds. Yeah, I love this. Um, very good for sales, by the way. If you are in sales, if you have a product that you try to sell, or if you are trying to sell your own or anything, amazing right here. This is straight up money. For those of you, this is part of the entrepreneur. So I'd say any of you who are entrepreneurs or who make money on your own, this could represent a lot more money coming in. This could also represent like a settlement. It could, so many things. Inheritance, settlements, uh, selling a car, selling a home, selling something expensive with these two cards here. This could represent new jobs. But Five of Diamonds is my just do it card. So it basically says anything you are thinking about doing financially that could have some sort of benefit to your business or your job. Maybe you're thinking about changing jobs, moving, whatever. This says just do it. Your your thoughts are in line with the truth here, is what I'd say. But uh, Scorpio looks amazing. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.